Hello, we are here. You all will not believe what we've been doing here. Um, and for those of you that care, Facebook decided to change to some new format between, I don't know, in the last hour or so. I don't know when they did it, but, oh my God, I couldn't get on. I couldn't figure out how to work the camera. Who knows? Um, hello. <laughs> I am so glad you all are here. Um, and if you can't see me, let me know. Um, how things are going. And there's Amanda who is here. Let me, y'all, this is just been really stressful. And I'm trying to, right now what I'm doing is dealing with my cursor to be able to see comments. So if somebody else could comment, just so I'll know there's more than one comment in there or, um, I just can't, oh, there we go. Okay, it's it'll come up. Oh my Lord, this is so good. Okay, hello, <laughs> welcome to Copland. Um, I'm Sandy Cook and really inept at work using Facebook, but mercifully we have Amanda Garcia who is really good at using Facebook and we've got it going. I think I can see the comment section. So if you all will put in prayer requests at any point, when we get to that point in Compline, um, we'll be able to have them and to pray. Um, as far as I know, there's no change in the live physical on-campus services. So seven o'clock Sunday morning, north parking lot, park in the south parking lot, bring a chair, bring a mask, bring a hat if it's sunny. Um, seven o'clock Wednesday morning has been for the 50 and older group. Um, you pick up your wafer, you go set up your chair in a purple circle. You're about nine feet away from the people in the middle of the next purple circle. Um, and it's, it's really lovely and it's a lovely time of morning. So uh, think about that for Sunday. There are other ways to take communion. The lay Eucharistic ministers will bring it to you in your front porch. All you have to do is request. Mission Home Church is up and running. They are training probably even as we speak tonight. There were 18 more families that were going to be trained. And that is a wonderful way for families and circles of people that are quarantining together to get communion. Multiple opportunities for classes and education, read e-news, join something new that you haven't done before. And don't forget giving opportunities. We hit 3,000 pounds of network for Ju June. The rumor is we're going for 3,500 in July. You drop your stuff off in front of the church, 421 Custer. Giving tithely is an easy way to donate to the church. There's an offering box if you go live. You can certainly mail in your pledge. Just don't forget us. Um, many opportunities to serve. Prayer, for one thing. Just get us through this. The grounds, the mowing team and the grounds and the people that weed and plant are still hard at work and they could use your help. We're still helping with Austin Street Shelter, and we're going in July. I, it's July 9th, next Thursday night. And you can drop off your food at church. I think they're going to leave around 5. So if you're going to give food, do it before 5 o'clock. And enough of that. And let me get myself together here. Order for Compline begins on page 127 of the Book of Common Prayer. Don't forget to put your prayer requests in the comment section. The Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you through our own fault 
in thought and word and deed and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. May the Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Let's read Psalm 91. If you want to read the whole thing with me, that's lovely, or you can do it responsibly by whole verse. It starts on page 129. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High abides under the shadow of the Almighty. He shall say to the Lord, You are my refuge and my stronghold, my God in whom I put my trust. He shall deliver you from the snare of the hunter and from the deadly pestilence. He shall cover you with his pinions, and you shall find refuge under his wings. His faithfulness shall be a shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid of any terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, of the plague that stalks in the darkness, nor of the sickness that lays waste at midday. A thousand shall fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Your eyes have only to behold to see the reward of the wicked. Because you have made the Lord your refuge and the Most High your habitation, there shall no evil happen to you, neither shall any plague come near your dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. They shall bear you in their hands, lest you dash your foot against a stone. You shall tread upon the lion and the adder. You shall trample the young lion and the serpent under your feet. Because he is bound to me in love, therefore will I deliver him. I will protect him because he knows my name. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I am with him in trouble. I will rescue him and bring him to honor. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, you are in the midst of us, and we are called by your name. Do not forsake us. O oh Lord, our God. Thanks be to God. Turning to page 132. Into your hands, O oh Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O oh Lord, O oh God of truth. Keep us, O oh Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy. Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Visit this place, O Lord, and drive far from it all snares of the enemy. Let your holy angels dwell with us to preserve us in peace, and let your blessings be upon us always. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And on page 134. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch 
or weep this night and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ. Give rest to the weary. Bless the dying. Soothe the suffering. Pity the afflicted. Shield the joyous. And all for your love's sake. Amen. Okay, let's see what we've got and see if I can access the comments section. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Oh. I see contact information for receiving home communion and for how to give to the church. We are so efficient. I don't see any other prayer requests, but guys, I got a list. And I have to write them down ahead of time. I don't pray well extemporaneously, so here we go. Dear Lord, we come to you tonight with many, many things. First, in thanksgiving. Thank you that our friend Curtis was able to walk away from a horrific accident. We thank you that our friend Mimi has moved from hospital to the rehab center. We thank you for the Mission Home Church training going on this night and the multiple ways that we have to receive you into our lives. Lord, there are so many tonight that require your healing love. And there's so many whose names we don't know. We're praying for tonight, though, for Elsie, for Shannon, for Connor, for June and Charlie, for Pat, for Cheryl, for Maria, for Mimi, for John, for David, for Gordon and Ramundo, for Bill and Joe and Barbara, for all of these, and for other people who are under care, and those who tend to their medical needs and heal them, and those family members who suffer alongside of all of these people. Lord, there are so many that need employment in these times and that will in the coming days. We're praying especially for Jonah, Kathleen, Lucy, Greg, Beth, all those that are seeking meaning, meaningful work or those just who's, who need any work they can get. Lord, we pray to you tonight for the repose of the soul of Mary Lou and her friend John who mourns, for Dan and for his family, for Lucy and for Woody and for all those who have loved and have lost. Dear Lord, this night we thank you for our country. Guide its leaders toward wisdom. We ask you to protect those who venture from their homes this weekend, to keep them mindful of their own safety and grant them wisdom. And I'd like to pray from the New Zealand prayer book, a prayer that's been adapted for the time of Corona. God of the present moment, God who in Jesus stills the storm and soothes the frantic heart, bring hope and courage to us as we wait in uncertainty. Bring hope that you will make us the equal of whatever lies ahead. Bring us courage to endure what cannot be avoided. For your will is health and wholeness. You are God, and we need you. Amen. And continuing on the bottom of page 134. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior whom you have prepared for all the world to see, 
a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us. Amen. Good night.